Well, hello. Interesting story uh, that has came out over the last few days or so. Let's talk about the cost of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. The Treasury Department announced on Thursday, May 18th, they spent an estimated 161.7 million pounds on the late queen's funeral. That's approximately in US dollars, I think like a 204 million. However, majority of the headlines, of course, seem to translate that just into US dollars because obviously it's more money and it will gain more headlines, right? Not sure why they are covering this in US dollars considering that the British use the pound. <laughs> One of the largest costs that was covered during the funeral was, of course, the security and everything that took place regarding national security and policing during that time period. That was a total of about 73.7 million pounds. Now, I'm not sure, obviously, since I don't live in the UK, what public sentiment is or would be regarding the amount spent for the late Queen's funeral. And... If I were to assume, I would say I think a majority of the British public probably had not much of an issue with it. I mean, in consideration that Queen Elizabeth II held the highest popularity rating, I mean, <laughs> for a very, very long time. Even so, I think a lot of people understood that the moment she passes away, she is going to have a state funeral. This is going to be a grand affair and something that as queen and as long as she reigned, she was deserving of. That's just my logic. Obviously, I do not speak for the British people because I don't know. What I do understand, though, is that more people have a problem with his coronation cost, if anything. <laughs> But I would attribute that to, of course, his low popularity rating, right? Government ministers have argued that the commemorations needed to reflect the national importance of the event. Graham Smith, who is the chief executive of Republic UK, pictured here, stated, and I quote, there is an assumption that these things have to be done on this scale, and that is an assumption that needs to be questioned, particularly in the middle of a cost of living crisis. Just giving my thoughts and opinions, I feel like, her state funeral was going to cost a lot, no matter what. She was a world figure and the longest reigning British monarch. I think it was going to be expensive no matter what they cut, to be honest. But as always, comment your thoughts below. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.